Is this the right height? Cool. And I'm looking. I'm looking at you. I always forget. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, look, at the look at the mountain. Look Do you look weird? It's about the side though. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, Peter, it's your highest first class score. But also, something special happened today. To end off the Cobras campaign, of course, you're the highest scorer for the Cobras as well. Eclipsing the likes of JP Dumini, Graham Smith, and Swati. So many big names. Can you just tell me how you feel about that particular performance? Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't know that when I was on like 250 or something because then I would have got a bit nervous. But no, it's it's, it's amazing. Like you said, it, it's uh, big names, special players. So just to be mentioned alongside them, it's it's very special. The fish looks like it's playing like a completely different ball game for both sides. I mean, you guys have been exceptional. Obviously, the Knights are struggling. Tell me about the pitch a little bit, the conditions and how you approach them. Yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting pitch in terms of it, it It was taking divots from quite early in the match. So then those divots got hard and it started reacting out of that. Um, I do think we batted really well and we had a bit of luck, which we which you need on, on that pitch. Um, and then our bowlers came to the party tonight. I mean, George taking a quick fall for other bowlers chipping in. So good team effort. Can you talk about your partnerships? Obviously, you had a massive partnership with Zubair Anza as well as with Calvin. I know that batting with youngsters like that. Can you give me some insight into that? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty special. It's I've, I've never had two 200-run partnerships in the same innings. So we spoke about that when Carl, when we won about 110. It was like, now try and get to 200. Um, now it's special batting with them. We've played a lot of cricket together over the last four or five years. And to watch them grow and, and turn into the cricketers that they've become, it's it's special watching. And it, I really enjoyed batting with them again uh, during the last two, two days. And we know about your contact, obviously, Simon. Can you give us some insight into that, how you're looking forward to it and uh, what you're looking forward to for the party going over there? Yeah, I just have to get over there <laughs> between visas and quarantine. It's a bit of a mission at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to experiencing county cricket, uh, comparing it to franchise cricket and seeing sort of how, how it compares. And just yeah, testing myself in a different competition, different conditions. That's that's probably the part I'm looking forward to the most. And some people obviously are going to compare the new system. The, the, obviously, we have a new system here in domestic cricket right now to the county system in a way. Um, what are your thoughts on the new system for cricket in South Africa? I think it's good. It, it's more opportunity uh, for more players. We've, we've got so much talent um, that's, that's sitting on benches every week. So I think the more people can play and the more exposure you can get, the better it is for cricket in this country. So I, I, think, it, I think it's a good decision. Is there any um, thoughts that you can give us maybe on where you're going to go? Are you going to stay in this province? Or yeah, like it's still it's still a bit early, so it's we we we're still figuring that out. Yeah. But probably in the next couple of weeks, that'll that'll be for certain. Awesome. I just want some tips for the youngsters. Obviously, you put in one of the performance like you did today. Um, it's difficult to take and convert obviously fifties to hundreds, hundreds to double centuries. Some tips that some of the youngsters can learn. From. Yeah, I don't know if it's a tip as much as. I got naught last week, so I mean that's sort of that hunger where you know as an opening batsman you can you can get out at any time against a new ball. So then when you do get in, you try and make the most of it and sort of just knuckle down, treat every ball on its merits uh, without sort of trying to think too far ahead, and then just keep doing that as long as possible. And then if you get a good ball, you get a good ball. But if you don't get yourself out, then you just give yourself a better chance of consistently scoring big.